Hi, my name is Hugh McVeigh. I wanted to film these interviews with my friends talking about their mental illness because it's something that isn't addressed enough and very hard for most people to open up about, and yet it's so important. These are honest, personal stories, and I hope they can help you get an insight into how much mental illness affects people around you every single day. And also, remember to never be afraid. Remember that the first step is acceptance, and the second step is being open to ask for help. Can you tell me about your experience with mental illness? Wow, what a tough question. I would say my experience with mental illness is depression, mainly dealing with dysphoria. Fuck, I can't, okay. I'm so awkward, I can't do this. Give my experience with mental illness, um, it's kind of, uh, well, I was diagnosed with just more of a learning disability when I was five, which was severe ADHD. Um, and then later in life, as I got older and I had more experiences, I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder, body dysmorphia, and disordered eating. For about a year, I went through a period with um, extremely bad OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. I mean, I feel like I've kind of experienced it throughout my whole life. When I was younger, in like the sixth grade, I didn't really know what was going on or why I was feeling like this. And I was like, I shouldn't even feel like this, you know? I don't know, I feel like growing up, you're just like supposed to be happy or like a kid. I don't know, things are just different, I guess. I've had a really long experience with mental illness. Uh, I remember it starting when I was like, seven or eight with obsessive compulsive thoughts and then later got turned into depression in high school and then in college I had my first manic episode and a psychotic episode. Well, my parents divorced when I was really very young. and. Um, I was very close to my dad and throughout the years he was not very, he was not a very good father. We went months, sometimes years without seeing him and him and my mom would fight all the time and right around the time when I, I don't know, I was like 14 or 15, I started having a lot of, I don't know, anger issues. But. Um, that eventually led to me being diagnosed with severe depression disorder. So I started, um, I guess like my first, like, like, um, I guess like the beginning of it was, um, I've been self-harming since I was like 12, um, and then throughout high school I was as well. Um, and I like, never shared it with anyone, I never like told anyone except for um, a boyfriend at the time and he like went on and told the high school <laughs> and so um, I, I guess I was like outed for my mental illness um, and that was like the beginning. Um. I didn't know what it was. It just made me feel really, really bad and like there was something really wrong with me. I just um, had to wash my hands over and over and just felt really, the word I used was guilty for um, everything that I did. Even things that didn't make sense like touching a certain part of my room. Like I'd have I would be like adjusting the volume or like the on and off switch on my phone so frequently and like over and over again that it would just break half the time. Since my depression is kind of linked to my gender dysphoria, um, I've always known I was trans but it wasn't until I started hormones and started actually transitioning that uh, I really realized I had depression and since then um, I've met a lot of people who are in the trans community and everybody definitely deals with it differently. So um, it's been interesting to really talk to people and 
find out how their experiences are similar to mine and different. I was diagnosed with panic and um, major depressive disorders. Um, and that was like almost like a relief to know that like I could name how I was feeling and like other people had it too because it was like named and, and it felt like I fit somewhere even if that meant like a really scary place to fit in um, to fit into but um, I fit in I fit in perfectly <laughs>